Um, the workshop was good um, uh, and uh, particularly very important for us now at the stage where we are, uh, just to going out of the piloting phase, uh, is the role of the researchers and uh, the research that is going into, into the product. And whose outcome really we need to uh, improve this product in terms of delivery, in terms of pricing, in terms of um, taking care of um, and changes in the climatic uh, conditions uh, over the coming years. Uh, the single biggest challenge is uh, managing delivery costs to the project uh, over a large, expansive region, uh, over a very difficult terrain, and over fairly weak uh, communication systems. Um, so that's the, the biggest. It's a huge geography that we have to cover. Um, very sparsely populated community um, that must be reached and must be touched for us to be able to convince and sell the product. So the biggest challenge is meeting that initial cost as we go towards um, critical mass. Um, the biggest um, potential is uh, we're looking at um, you know a 20 million strong community in the Horn of Africa region uh, with significant amount of wealth that really provides a, a huge reservoir for an insurance company in terms of um, uh, growth and expansion. So, so it, we're very, very optimistic about the product and it's a product that requires a significant amount of patience and, and time. Uh, but we have no doubt that it will come to fruition. And we are using the index-based uh, livestock insurance concept to learn the Kenya Livestock Insurance Program. And uh, the recommendations from this conference, uh, I suggest that we all share and be able to implement them in, in uh, policy decision making, implementation of programs, and uh, generally uh, transforming research and academia into practical actions. I think the biggest concern is, uh, one is awareness creation. Insurance is not very easy. For the pastoralists that we are targeting, we require a lot of uh, capacity building, a lot of awareness creation, before we can say that insurance will be acceptable to, uh, acceptable to them. Our so, role there for as market facilitator is to see how uh, insurance companies and underwriters would be able to interact with pastoral communities. So we help insurance companies and underwriters, we facilitate them to ensure that they are able to speak with pastoralists, they are able to, to sell their products to pastoralists, they are able to understand the pastoralists better, and the pastoralists in turn understand the underwriters so that the information gap is filled and the pastoralists are able to make demand kind of a choice, uh, choice which is driven by demand, that they are able to insure their livestock because there is an insurance firm here which is ready to provide this service. In Ibli, we act as uh, the implementing partners of the insurance program on the ground. Also, the use of technologies, the emerging technologies that can help us to reach the pastoralist communities in a better way is also important because the communities are widely dispersed and there have been challenges in terms of the cost of reaching the pastoralists. What excites me about Ibli is we are able to come with a product that targets communities that a few years ago would not, you would not have thought that would be reached with such a product. We see this as opening also other opportunities in these regions because in a few years' time, we will not only be talking about index-based livestock insurance, but we will be talking about other products that these communities can be able to access. And, uh, we are really excited and proud to have been supporting ILRI uh, and Ibli for a long time. And uh, our expectation is that at some point the donors would not need to support it any longer because the market uh, will take our place. I uh, appreciate the variety of perspectives and views that are around the table today. And all the amazing work that is behind Ibli and what Ibli is today. And Ibli is a very good pro example how you can translate research into products that are useful and can make a difference for the poor and that can be sustainable because the market and the private sector can to come. So you don't just generate dependency from donors intervention or the public sector intervention. The public agents will always play a role but what that's what makes me passionate about this program is that potentially this can be a good instrument for pastoralists to reduce their risk with their own resources. 
and are meeting a pastorist who has lost the whole heart of their cattle. Sometimes it really moves me. And, and over the years, uh, where, when I have been in development work, I have been asking myself, how can we cushion them? How can we support them? What kind of, of safety net can we prov support, can we provide to this, uh, the pastoralists so that uh, even if they have lost their livestock due to drought or due to lack of forage or due to um, as unknown circumstances or due to uh, lack of, of water, yeah. how can we provide a, a, a bounce back for them? And for me, this product provides the bounce back that they so need. That is why I'm so excited about this. And I'm even more excited because the government has, has come in and is taking it to even further and providing uh, even more support to the most vulnerable.